Well, we're just uh, overlooking the uh, block of flats where this incident occurred uh, just before 9.30 this morning. In fact, I'm just going to get out of the way, allow Andrew, our cameraman, to uh, zoom in. Might be a little bit messy, but we'll just zoom in, give you the best shot we can. Uh, you can see uh, it is a, a scene of absolute devastation in that uh, block of flats. It's uh, a block of flats of uh, 20 flats, all of them, uh, it looks from what we can see and certainly the uh, information we're getting from the emergency services, all 20 flats have been destroyed by the ensuing fire. It was, according to the emergency services, a gas explosion that ripped through one of the properties here uh, just before 9.30. Two people have been taken to hospital. One of those taken to hospital is seriously injured, having suffered... Uh, multiple injuries in the explosion. He was flown uh, to Addenbrooke's hospital by the uh, air ambulance which landed in the field just near uh, to where this block of flats is. So everyone in the block of flats has been evacuated from the area. Uh, they are being housed in a nearby community centre while the local authorities try to determine uh, what the next move is for them. And of course the investigation is underway to determine exactly what caused this gas explosion. Uh, we're not aware at this stage of any other casualties but clearly the emergency services are still here. They are trained in urban services and rescue and their teams will be sifting through uh, the rubble of the building behind me as they look for other potential victims.